hello and welcome to this video in this video we are going to see how to set up mail accounts in Mac OS just like uh, Outlook in Windows there we have uh, a mail client in here I used to have uh, every now and then a call that is related to mail that like the mail app on the Mac is having issues and they will be calling us for help while clearly we can only provide you with the server names and a port number and if it's that's correct there's nothing we can do you have to go to the Apple all right so let's go to the uh, uh, where we can see our accounts so first thing first system preferences you can see your accounts in right here somewhere internet accounts so basically that will list all the accounts that you have here and you can see you can set up here more from here let's see uh, it's grayed out for some reason oh, exchange you could add accounts from here within like the your you could uh, pick with your provider go with that there's mail account scaldav coddav ldap so ldap is basically i believe that is to synchronize with the server and uh, use with the business let's see description search base server address port secure socket probably I will look into it how to connect to work uh, <clears throat> we do have Max at work but this one is my personal so let's go to the mail app actually so if system preferences and uh, yeah no, I'm lost I was looking at it and then okay yeah Apple ID right there that's what I was looking I had so much trouble with this Apple ID uh, when I was uh, I kept forgetting where it is so basically this is this you can see your account your email address what's been synchronized and all that you can and if you were to go and click on mail yeah you can uh, click on this and it will stop getting emails from the server if you were to do the same with photos it will stop syncing it with your iCloud like whatever storage uh, uh, Apple gives you for free or all that so basically th this this is where from you will control how it's being you know synced up now let's go to the mail app itself if you pull up the mail you will have a familiar outlook like uh, mail app this is the mail app you can see it's right here it's its name is actually mail so if you you can come do whatever you want to do read uh, you know what's this button new message in all accounts this is basically uh, what is called get uh, all messages send receive all in Outlook I, I I used Outlook for a very long time for more than probably 20 years all right so add new account it will be uh, mail add account and you will get this screen where you will actually go click your provider for example Google Yahoo whoever continue you'll provide your credentials next so for example I don't remember my password but I'm gonna try password let's see if it works if it works no it didn't and no it's okay final try and we'll move from there Oh, it worked. Okay, so I, I I'm gonna get the text message. Now you have. Okay, let's see if I get the text. Ah, now they want to be tricky. Uh, w X E U A G. All right, create no password. No, I don't want to. I'll do this later. Yeah, that sounds good. 
All right, so now with Yahoo, whatever you want to sync up, you can click all of these and basically it will uh, sync with Yahoo from this machine. So I'm gonna just go ahead and click done. And now you can see it says all in boxes rather than just in box. Now I have an iCloud uh, in, uh, uh, inbox and Yahoo. And you can see Yahoo is syncing, it's downloading all of my emails. And you can see right there. And it, they even sent me a email prompting me that, hey, somebody log into Mac OS. I love Google uh, security. Basically, they in real time, you get notification on your screen with the, you know, the kind of general area. Pretty much uh, not pinpoint, but uh, like in the area. Uh, they're pretty good with that. And they will say, hey, is that you? You just click yes and they this they let you log in on whatever device you are doing so this is how you add an account to your mail app and in the next couple of videos we'll work more with mail app now you can see how straightforward it was to use yahoo or any other uh, uh, bigger providers like uh, i would say universal because they provide uh, the whole globe if you were to work with somebody local like your isp and i hate that idea don't use your ISP's email address. I'll, you will find millions of Americans use that. Uh, basically, it's a monopoly uh, in terms because if you were to uh, cancel your account with them, the internet account, you basically lose access to that email address. At least that was the policy or the practice with the Spectrum Charter. The uh, and it's not bad it's just if you're not using their internet they will not provide you the free the uh, the email address but the bad thing is if you were to move f your address if maybe just one block and that same server does not serve that area you lose access to that email address uh, that's uh, terrible uh, we used to have those calls we it was a pain to explain that uh, the explain that to the customer but yeah if you forget it if you are moving to different uh, zip code just maybe one block and that road is the boundary line you lost that email address and the only way of keeping that email address was to keeping that internet service and your old property that's ridiculous so and I was surprised like how many people will actually suck it up, go create a new email address with again Spectrum. No, stop doing it. Go create an email with the Gmail. Even though uh, 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 one of our manager who became, uh, yeah, she was a supervisor. She was promoted to our uh, manager. She managed our team. She said in a meeting, yes, uh, she, tell them to go to, uh, no, she did not say tell them to go to Gmail, but she was like, hey, they should have gone to Gmail, but uh, I can't say it and don't tell anybody. So that is a pro tip if anybody's listening. All right, so let's wrap this video here. If this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and i see you in the next one.